Hi, welcome to the Mac tutorial about installing Windows 10 on uh, Mac OS Hi Sierra. It starts with uh, downloading Windows ISO onto your disk from Microsoft website. So, as shown in the screen here, just uh, search for Windows 10 download uh, with, with Microsoft added to it just to make sure you enter Microsoft website rather than any dubious website. Uh, select Windows 10, Windows 10 and then uh, the right language, well for me it's English. Um, so just download it and uh, Apple recommends Windows uh, OS 64-bit for um, I use an iMac, so for iMacs after uh, 2010. So 64-bit Windows. It, it's going to take a while, so go take a break, come back after half an hour or so. So we're going to use uh, Boot Camp Assist to install, help us install Windows uh, 10 onto this Mac. So simply search for it uh, and open Boot Camp Assist. Uh, make sure you tick all the boxes. Uh, just go with the recommended settings um, so that you know, you get the best out of the installation. Um, since my Mac is a pre-2015 iMac, uh, for some reason, uh, Apple recommends uh, using a USB fl flash drive. So I've, I've just bought one. Uh, it's a uh, SanDisk UltraFit USB 3.0. It's a quicker, uh, slimmer one. Um, simply put it into your uh, USB slot. And then, unlike the previous uh, window, it should continue now. Uh, magically, uh, they always found out where my uh, ISO is, Windows 10 ISO is, but just in case your OS doesn't, uh, browse down to the ISO location and uh, just click on it and select it. And once you do that, just click Next, or Proceed rather. Uh, just make sure that the USB flash drive you enter will be completely formatted. Um, so any data you have on it uh, will be erased, which is exactly why Apple uh, OS, the Mac OS is a warning. Um, so once that's done, um, it'll take a while. It's going to take 10 to 15 minutes. And then it'll enter the um, partitioning phase. Uh, you're asked for a password here because this is probably something only with admin privileges should be doing. As you can see, uh, by default, uh, the Mac OS, uh, uh, you know, reserves maximum amount of disk space for itself, but this could change. Uh, but make sure you select a sensible uh, partition, um, you know, not too much for window, anything too much for Windows and too less for Mac OS could affect the performance of Mac OS. So I went with more like, um, you know, 25% of the disk space, which is 250 gig in my case. Uh, I intend to use Windows for uh, work-related things and, uh, you know, if possible, some sort of gaming. I want to see how uh, my iMac uh, does with, uh, uh, how well it does with uh, PC gaming. So once that's selected, click Next. So the disk partition uh, will take a few minutes. Uh, well, mine took about five to 10 minutes, I think, from, from what I recollect. Uh, you'll be asked for a password uh, at the end of it. Uh, the credentials, once again, yet again, uh, just to make sure you have that admin privileges. There you go. So you just enter your uh, username and password with admin privileges, and uh, the Mac will be restart. And so when it does, it restarts into Windows boot up, uh, installation boot up by default. You don't have to do anything here. Uh, it'll, it'll take a few seconds, a few more seconds compared to a default um, Mac OS boot up. So it'll take a while, um, I guess for, uh, pretty much common for the setup process take a bit when it's installed for the first time. Um, so once it gets going, yeah, you need to select uh, the language for that to install and then uh, the time zone and then uh, the keyboard 
uh, layout. Uh, just pick one that suits you. <clears throat> Once that's done, just click next. Uh, at this point, you'll be asked for uh, activation key. You don't actually have to enter this in order to use uh, Windows 10. I'll go into more details later. Uh, so you can select Windows Home if you're a basic user and Windows Pro if you're a professional user. Uh, anything else, uh, obviously, there are too many options here and you can select anything depending on your choice. So I, I chose Windows Pro, Windows 10 Pro, and I have a key for it which I'll be entering later. But what I want to demonstrate is uh, the fact that you can do the complete installation and you can keep on using the operating system even without having, uh, having an activation key. So simply accept the terms and conditions. So at this stage, it's, I was pretty confused because uh, none of the online tutorials explain this. So you're presented with a choice of drives where you can install it. Um, so I kind of use my common sense here and use the biggest one. Um, yeah, as you can see, the two, 232 gig is uh, the biggest, but even, the, even that, uh, uh, you know, the, the boot up installer says it can't, Windows can't be installed on it. So I did a refresh trying to see if, if it works and it didn't. And once again, like I said, what I did was just use my common sense and went on um, with a format. So I decided to format, which you'll be seeing in a bit. Um, format uh, the drive. Um, so I didn't mind doing this because one thing that's great about Macs is that you can never brick them. You know what I mean uh, by bricking, you know, usually used for the Android phones where you do something wrong and the phone never starts up and never uh, is useful again. So don't worry about experimenting with Mac as long as you have your data backed up. So as you can see, I have formatted it and now Windows is happy to install on this uh, disk. And now, yes, uh, this is pretty time consuming time uh, time consuming uh, process so it's going to take at least 30 minutes so please have some patience go take a break what i've skipped there is a standard windows installation process where it keeps asking for other details like username uh, password setup and uh, all the basic things so you know them probably by you know from your previous installations of windows so go ahead and do them and uh, you know there will be quite a few restarts and don't worry about that uh, a few restarts later uh, you'll be presented with uh, you know good looking high resolution screen like this one so the first thing to do is to update uh, do the apple updates so what this does is as you know this is windows but this is sitting on top of an apple device so it's good to have the apple software that monitors um, you know the windows setup uh, and have it up to date. Um, well, sometimes they're trivial. Sometimes uh, the updates are uh, uh, about iTunes or uh, some other ancillary Apple software. But sometimes uh, the updates are about the Bluetooth on the device or uh, Wi-Fi or the graphics uh, chipset or uh, you know anything else that that um, you know that that might be very critical. So please don't um, ignore this process. Um, please go ahead and do it. Um, this shouldn't take uh, long either. Uh, it took me, I think, uh, about 10-15 uh, uh, minutes, so that's not a long time um, uh, for the safety and uh, security that it offers. So what I've done here is I have uh, sped up the process by, uh, I don't know, 10x I think. Um, so it takes uh, a few minutes, and once uh, that's uh, once the Apple update installation is done, it'll ask for uh, it'll recommend that the computer uh, be restarted. Uh, so once that's done, I uh, recommend that uh, you follow it up with a Windows uh, update. So what this also ensures is that um, you know whenever uh, we don't know when the ISO was created by Microsoft, but since then. Microsoft may have rolled out a lot of updates uh, for the Windows. It doesn't matter if it is Windows 10 or 7, whatever. Um, so that'll make sure that 
the operating system has the latest updates and and you're protected against uh, you know the malware that we read in news almost every now and then so just go to search go search for windows update and um, it opens up settings uh, window and windows update is just a sub window inside settings um, just check for updates and I'm 100 percent sure uh, that you, you'll see quite quite a big list here. Uh, go ahead and uh, install them. And this will take more than half an hour. So be patient. Please be patient and install them. And now the switching at the boot up. Uh, so what you should be doing is when you restart your um, Mac from Windows, press and hold uh, the Alt rather or rather the Option key. Uh, so which is on which is uh, right next to command uh, the right next to command and not the space so it, it'll be it'll be called alt or option on uh, some of the uh, keyboards uh, so keep pressing it so i think after a few seconds um you will see the uh, the options the boot up options that are available for this mac so as you can see, there is a Macintosh, uh, the, the, the Mac OS boot up, and then you have the Windows. And the other two, as you can see the, with the USB symbol, are the result of plugging in the Windows installed USB from earlier. So I haven't plugged it out yet. They'll disappear as, as soon as you plug out the USB. So once you continue with the Windows, it's pretty normal. It's just like a PC. Um, it starts up and uh, waits at the login uh, window and it's uh, as usual from here um, so the other way of uh, switching the OS uh, not at boot up but rather uh, preempt preemptively is using the uh, the boot camp assist from the the windows so if you click on the tray options uh, so you'll see the the, the boot camp assist and the last option will be restart in OS X. Uh, so once you click on that, you don't have to worry about pressing and holding option key. Um, the Mac will restart in, uh, in a Mac OS that's available to it. Once again, um, once that's done, it's uh, pretty much as usual. Um, so your uh, iMac or your MacBook will never see Windows unless you press Option. Um, on the other hand, uh, uh, the complementary feature in the uh, the Mac OS is uh, selecting the boot disk from the boot up disk uh, application. So simply search for uh, startup disk, and uh, this will, this will be locked by default so you have to unlock it using your admin credentials uh, once you do that you will get to choose which one you would like to choose by default as you boot up so in this case I have once again chosen uh, Windows for the sake of it just to demonstrate it and as you can see it will be restarted as I said you don't have to press option um, this way either so so Windows will start in a sec. That's pretty much it. So the final thing to notice, or to, or to rather note, is uh, is how do you uninstall uh, Windows 10, or uh, how do you uninstall any Windows operating system once you install once you install using the process mentioned uh, before. So you simply go back to uh, Boot Camp Assistant. And I strictly recommend that you follow this process rather than doing it manually, especially if you're a newbie. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more Mac tutorials and other DIY videos. Thank you.